Hello, today we're going to take a look at using iMovie and starting a new iMovie project that we will add still images from our iPhoto uh, albums to. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to go to my launch pad and I'm going to find iMovie and I'm going to click it to get iMovie up and running. Now, like I said, one of the first things we're going to do is create a new event and then a new project here. So I am going to, while I have iMovie library selected here on the left hand side, I'm going to go to file and select new event. And I am going to call this book trailer. Good. And now I'm going to get a new movie project going. So I'm going to go to the top bar here and I am going to click on the uh, new button that has the little plus sign and I'm going to select movie. And I'm not going to select a theme. I'm going to do everything from scratch. I'm going to give this uh, movie project the name and in this case I'm going to call it Hatchet because that's what my book trailer will be about and I'm going to click OK. Alright, so now I'm going to go over to the libraries over on the far left side of the window and I'm going to select iPhoto Library. Remember, I've already gone and downloaded all of my still images and I've put them in an album in uh, iPhoto. So what I should see are all my different albums that I have in my iPhoto. I select the one that I want and double click it open to see the images that I've got stored there. All right. So now it's a matter of dragging them into my movie, which is down at the bottom. This is where my project actually will be created. All right, you can see little dashed lines there, a place for either video or for still images, and down here a place for audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, like I said before, I'm going to drag in my images. In this case, I'm gonna drag them in in the order in which I want them to appear. So I'm going to take the cover of my book and drag that in. Now if I do this for every picture, I'm going to have to do a lot of scrolling. So I'm going to change the view of my project so that each clip doesn't take up quite so much space. One of the other things that I want to do as well is that I want it to appear like the cover is going to go from color to black and white, kind of a reverse. Wizard of Oz kind of moment. All right, and then I'm going to drag the rest of my images in in the order in which I want them to appear. So I will start out with the plane and then the lake and then the hatchet and the berries and my rabbit and oh, the bear. And let's see, a lake after a storm. And then I'm going to end it up with one more picture of the cover. Now, in order to play this, I've got my playhead here. That's that little triangle and the line that extends from it going down, uh, which means that if I hit play, it's going to start wherever that little line is. So if I hit my spacebar or the play button that's over here on the right, I can see what my movie looks like so far. Now you're going to notice that when I've got that uh, cover going, I'm not seeing the whole cover all at once. And the rest of the pictures are either zooming in or zooming out. Now for each of these black and white pictures, you know, I am fine with these pictures uh, zooming in and zooming out. That, that's fine with me. Um, but when it comes to that cover, I want to be able to see the whole cover all at once. So what I'm going to do, 
and I might as well start with this last one here. Is I'm going to double click on this clip of the um, cover of the book. And you'll see that what happened up here in the right hand side has changed. And it's showing that by default that the Ken Burns effect is what's going on with this picture. And it can only show so much at one time. So I've got this part right here is like this might be where it starts and this rectangle right here might be where it ends. But you know, I want to see the whole thing all at once. My other option is to do what's called crop to fill, which means I can have just like the title part or I can have just like his eyes or whatever. I'm not going to be able to get that whole picture in there. The only way I'm going to get the whole picture is if I tell it to fit. In other words, I'm going to fit the entire image into the rectangle that shows um, your basically your whole screen display. And I also want to do that with the first two times that the title is on there. Uh, I'm sorry, the cover is there. So I'm going to double click that so that it is selected. And then I'm going to go to fit. And then I'm going to do that with the black and white version as well. All right, so I've got my images in the way I want. I've got them all in my new project, which is all part of this one event. So I'm ready to move on to the next thing.